Hi everyone, in this short video, we are going to have a look around zero standing privileges for Microsoft Azure Access. So let's get started. In terms of agenda, first we are going to look at with standing access, how does the user experience looks like? Then we are going to look at with a zero standing privileges approach. So using standing privileges, so these are the few downsides. The first downside is if somebody compromise your identity or somebody steal your session cookie, the attackers can have a wide access. The impact is going to be huge because by default, attacker might be able to gain an access to dozens of your Azure subscriptions and dozens of different roles and so on. And in terms of if some of the customers are leveraging upon a dual account strategy, like they might be using Raj account for access to SharePoint 0365, and they might have created an additional account, Raj underscore admin account, to have an access to your cloud consoles. So in terms of maintaining and managing two different accounts, it will unnecessarily increase the operational overhead. And from a user standpoint, also user has to remember two different credentials, and it will unnecessarily affect their productivity. So now we are going to look at the demonstration. How does the end user experience looks like using the standing privileges approach? So here in the first cases, so this is what I'm talking about from administrator. They might be creating two different users. So Raj user and Raj underscore admin user to access the cloud consoles. So what we are going to do, so I'm going to log in to the portal.azure.com using Raj underscore admin credentials. So here you can see I have logged in using Raj underscore admin credentials. So by default, I have access to three different subscriptions. Again, this is just my test environment is. So in this particular case, this Raj underscore admin user has access to three different subscription. If attacker compromise my identity or if attacker gain hold of the session cookie, they will be able to do a lot more damage. So then the point comes how we can reduce the risk. So that's where the zero standing privileges approach comes for the rescue. The first thing is using this ZSP approach. So we will be able to reduce the entire risk even if identity gets compromised or somebody steal the session cookie. This is the first thing. Second thing is from an account management perspective. So your administrator, they don't have to worry about maintaining and managing two different accounts. So they can create just one account and using this particular account, using Raj as a user, I can access SharePoint 0365 Cloud Console and all the different application. I don't have to remember two different set of credentials and then Whenever this particular user needs any kind of a permission, so user will be able to elevate the permissions on the fly. And then after a certain time frame, the user is going to back with the zero standing permissions again. And the last thing is, again, as a user, I don't have to remember two different credentials. It will really help you to improve your overall user experience. So now we are going to look at to the demonstration from an end user standpoint, how does this user experience is gonna look like. So here, what I'll do, I'll sign out from my portal.ajo.com. So once I sign out, so now we are going to sign in using my Raj at the rate of sccsolutionsdemo.com. It is asking me to authenticate. So let me approve this request using my authenticator app. So I'm authenticated successfully. So here, so uh, we are in the Azure portal. So once we're gonna go to the subscriptions to perform any kind of a job. So here you can see as a user, I don't have any permissions at all. Even if attacker compromise my identity or attacker steal the session cookie, they will not be able to do much damage. So now the point comes how this user 
can gain the permissions on the fly using the zero standing privileges approach. So that's where, so we are going to log in into the CyberArk identity security platform. In this portal, I'm going to log in using my Antra ID credentials. So I'm gonna click on next. So this user is being redirected to the Azure AD. So once this user is authenticated, so you can see I got authenticated as a Raj user. So now I can elevate my permissions to do my job. So I'll click on Microsoft Azure port. So what we have done, so we have enabled the session recording and session protection using the CyberX browser extension. I'm gonna click on continue button. So in a couple of seconds, so I'll be redirected to the CyberX Secure Cloud Access User Portal. So here you can see as a user, I have access to Azure subscription one and subscription number three. So here the access, I got access as a virtual machine contributor as an access to the subscription three as my, as my key vault administrator. So this is how the access is gonna look like. For this particular task, so what I want to do, I want to perform some virtual machine actions on the subscription number three. I'll click on continue button again. So behind the scenes, what CyberArk is going to do, we are going to add the Raj user into that specific subscription to the virtual machine contributor role. So once it is done, I will be redirected to the Microsoft Azure portal. So here you can see I got redirected to the Microsoft Azure portal. So now, so here you can see the entire session is gonna be recorded. So what we can do, so we can go to the subscriptions. So it takes a couple of seconds sometimes. So here you can see I have access to the subscription number three. So I'll click on the subscription number three and then so what we can do, we can go to the virtual machines and then we will be able to perform certain actions. I'm gonna create a new machines altogether. It's a subscription number three. So we can create a resource provider, Microsoft compute, storage, network are not registered for the subscription number three and we don't have a permissions at the stage. We just have a permissions of a virtual machine contributor, but I believe to spin up VM machine, we need a lot more permissions on the Microsoft side. So this is how does the user experience is gonna look like considering the zero standing privileges approach. So now as a last step, what we are going to do, we are going to look at from an auditor standpoint, what are the different events CyberArk is able to capture? So I'm gonna to go to the secure web session. So here, once I go to the web session, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to authenticate using my CyberArk mobile app. So once I'm able to authenticate, so here we are gonna to go to the session recordings. So here you can see this is the Microsoft Azure portal. So these are the few things what we carried out. So we click on all these different resources. We went to, to the subscription number three, and then we were trying to create a Azure virtual machine as well. So we can help you to capture all the different actions using the Cybrax browser extension. So thanks a lot, everyone.